Hey everybody, I'm Rob with the Anderson Barbecue Supply, and today we're going to be giving a quick overview of the K4L drum cooker produced by Kelly Wirtz out of Kansas. Now, this is a pretty cool drum cooker, and it currently retails for $5.99, and that is including one grate, the vortex on the inside for directing smoke, and the charcoal basket. So let's get into it and show you some of the features on the outside here. We have this stay cool handle. We have a latch to keep the lid down. You have your two inch exhaust up here with the damper, which is nice and simple. And then on the sides, you have a two inch air intake here, as well as on the other side with that same damper. You can even tighten this little acorn nut down here uh, to really make it so it's not moving a ton or not wavering around a lot. Now on the front, in the bottom here, you do have a caster. It is lockable and it's swivelable in all directions. And then on the back side of this, you have some easy roll wheels. I'll call them roller blade wheels, but these wheels make it easy to maneuver this around. Like I said, you have the swivelable front caster, so pulling this around by the handle is super, super easy. Now on the back side of the lid, what you actually have is a uh, assisted hinge so it's nice and light not that this thing weighs a hundred pounds or anything but it definitely helps and then because it's connected it's not going to be falling all over on you you don't have to worry about setting it on the ground or you don't have to worry about hooking it to the side of your drum cooker either so that's a nice feature on the lid it does have a mesh gasket going all the way around the top so when you're cooking something in here if you have a temperature probe with the wire sitting right here you just lock it down and you're not going to have an issue with breaking that wire. It also does have a locking latch right here to latch that down and keep it nice and tight to keep that smoke inside and more importantly, not allow any ex or exterior air to come inside and stoke that fire. Now the grate here is a 21 and a half inch cooking grate, which gives you about 365 square inches of cooking space, which is a very typical drum size. And when I say heavy duty, this grate actually is very heavy duty, like I'm trying to bend it here and really not having any luck. So it's a nice uh, coating and it's very sturdy for sure. Now on the inside of the drum here, some cool features. You have these brackets which give you multiple levels for your grate, or you could have two grates in here as well to increase your cooking capacity. Uh, we do have a thermometer on the front, which is really standard across the industry with drum smokers. Uh, one thing that I really like here that K4L includes in their $5.99 price is their Vortex kind of heat diffuser. Now I'll bring this close to the camera. It's built really well. It's welded together and you have these little airflow notches that help everything move. It really gets that smoke up and moving around the inside of the chamber. Further down on the inside, you have your charcoal basket. Now, if you notice one thing when I grab that charcoal basket that I forgot to talk about, we'll take a little detour here, is the height of this lid. So typical drums have their lid right up here at the top, right? And for somebody like me, I'm five foot six. It's a little harder to get all the way down in there without rubbing my elbow, my armpit, getting dirty. With the K4L, what they did is they took part of that lid and brought it down. So your grate height is right here, and then you have lid height as well, which is different from the other cookers. The easy thing with that, or the cool thing with that, is that when you reach down, you're not rubbing anything. So like I said, I'm 5'6", I'm a little shorter. It's nice and easy for me to get in there and get this basket. Now with this basket, it is uh, welded together. It's heavy-duty steel, and you can see on the sides it has holes for air intake. And on the bottom, you have about a... I guess that's about two inch gap uh, to allow that charcoal to sit on the bottom and then the ash to fall through and make sure you're still getting airflow under that cook or under that uh, that charcoal. So that's a great feature. It's a very heavy duty uh, charcoal basket. This is powder coated black with high temp paint. And on the very inside, we do have a drain clean out. For, so for you guys that really like to clean your drum often, or maybe it's just once a year, and you're power washing the inside, all that water can be drained out the bottom without you having to put your drum on the ground, 
pick up the top or the bottom side and then dump all that water out. It'll just drain out with a little wiggling here. So that's a great feature that they've added to this. Now altogether, this when you're uh, moving it around is about 100 pounds. So it's still pretty light or two people can put this in the back of a truck uh, for competition purposes or just moving it to a friend's house. It's really simple to move around like most other drums. One thing I wanna point out that I find really cool with this drum, with is how the bracketing system is set up in here of the flexibility that you have to instead of just doing a low and slow or a 300 degree cook, you can actually use this just like your charcoal grill at home. If you take your vortex, turn it upside down and slide it in, you can put them on these bottom brackets here and then you take your charcoal, and charcoal basket will go right on that vortex, creating a lifted surface. So now you have your charcoal, oh, about eight inches away from your grate height. Once you get that charcoal rip roaring, you put your grate back in, and you have your, because you have your charcoal so close to that fire, it's more like a normal charcoal grill, right? You wanna sear some chicken breasts, you wanna sear some burgers, you wanna sear a steak, do a uh, skirt steak on here, you have that ability. So with the functionality of those brackets, with how they're set in there, with the ability to turn that vortex over and bring that charcoal up, I think that's a really, really cool function of this grill. You can also take your grate and move it down one rung on the brackets here and get it right next to that fire too. Now, I probably wouldn't recommend that too often or putting something on there without taking it off right away, but that's just another cool feature of this drum and how Kelly designed it. So it's a very versatile grill, right? It's more than just low and slow. This is a great grill that you could use at home for low and slow, but you could also use it as a kind of de facto charcoal grill as well for doing burgers. And you wouldn't have to have a separate grill necessarily for that. So with that, this K4L cooker designed by Kelly Wirtz out of Kansas is a great cooker. Uh, I will say this, uh, the drum is made in China. If that's something that is very important to you, this drum might not be for you, but for the price, for how it's constructed, what you're getting, it is a really good drum for the home backyard cook. Even a comp cook, obviously, uh, we didn't talk much about Kelly, but he's a nationally recognized barbecue pit master with lots of championships under his belt. I believe he's won the Jack Daniels. He's appeared on TV, so I would say that he knows what he's doing in the barbecue and grilling world. And for him to design his own cooker and to market it, bring it to market and believe in it, that tells me a lot about uh, what he's making and how he's cooking and how he's competing that he believes in the products. And with that said, uh, this has been an overview of the K4L drum cooker. You can find out more about this on our website, andersonbbqsupply.com. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email me, robert at andersonbbqsupply.com, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.